Where'd you do your time, pal? Up north. The world of entertainment can be a realm of illusion and reality, with fame and fortune often followed by a fall from grace. Yeah, exactly. You know, there were times when I was doing Jack that I actually felt retarded. Occasionally, this downfall is driven by legal problems, leading some actors to experience life behind bars. As we delve into the stories of these actors, the reality of their situations reveals the human struggles behind their public personas. Number one, Robert Downey Jr. Hollywood is no stranger to stories of redemption, but few are as compelling as the story of Robert Downey Jr. Born on April 4, 1965, Downey began his acting career at a young age. He displayed immense talent early on, earning praise for his roles in films like Less Than Zero and Chaplin, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. However, Downey's promising career took a dark turn as he fell into the throes of drug addiction. His substance abuse problems began as a teenager when his father, filmmaker Robert Downey Sr., introduced him to marijuana. The actor's experimentation with drugs escalated over time, leading to a string of legal issues. Downey's first arrest came in 1996 when he was stopped for speeding and authorities found heroin, cocaine, and a firearm in his vehicle. Later that same year, he was arrested again after he was found passed out in a neighbor's home. His continued substance abuse and repeated arrests led to his eventual incarceration. Downey spent nearly a year in the California Substance Abuse Treatment Facility and State Prison in Corcoran, California, from 1999 to 2000. His time in prison was punctuated by bouts of self-reflection, which he later described as a turning point in his life. Following his release, Downey faced significant challenges in rebuilding his career. He was considered a risk due to his history of substance abuse and legal problems. However, with the help of friends and industry allies, he eventually found work again. His casting as Tony Stark in Iron Man in 2008 marked the true resurrection of his career. The Marvel Cinematic Universe films were a global phenomenon, and Downey's performance was widely praised, signifying his successful return to Hollywood. Today, Downey is recognized not just for his acting prowess, but also for his remarkable recovery. His story serves as a testament to personal resilience and the possibility of second chances, demonstrating that even in the darkest times, there can be a way back to the spotlight. Number two, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan, born on July 2, 1986, garnered fame at a young age as an actress and singer. She first gained recognition in the late 90s when she starred in the Disney film, The Parent Trap which marked the start of a successful acting career. Lohan's breakout performance in Mean Girls in 2004 made her a household name. However, alongside her rising fame came increased public scrutiny. Her personal life became a constant subject of media attention, and by 2007, she had started experiencing legal troubles. Her first arrest came in May of that year for a DUI and possession of cocaine. Just two months later, she was arrested again on similar charges. These arrests resulted in a series of brief jail stints and mandatory rehab programs. Over the next few years, Lohan's legal problems continued, largely stemming from probation violations and other incidents. These issues seriously impacted her career, as movie producers became hesitant to cast her due to the perceived risk. Lohan's longest jail sentence came in 2010, when she violated the terms of her probation and was sentenced to 90 days in jail. However, she served less than two weeks of that sentence due to overcrowding in the jail and good behavior. Following her release, she continued to battle addiction and legal issues. Despite her personal struggles, Lohan has attempted multiple comebacks over the years, and she continues to remain in the public eye. Her story is a stark reminder of the immense pressure that young Hollywood actors often face and the damaging effects it can have on their lives. Number 3. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes, born on July 31, 1962, is a renowned actor and martial artist. He achieved fame in the 1990s with a series of high-profile roles in action films such as Demolition Man, Blade, and Passenger 57. In 2006, Snipes found himself in the midst of a different kind of battle. He was charged with tax evasion, accused of failing to file tax returns for several years and attempting to defraud the government of millions of dollars. In 2008, 
Snipes was acquitted of felony tax fraud and conspiracy charges, but was found guilty on three misdemeanor counts of failing to file federal income tax returns. In 2010, Snipes was sentenced to three years in prison, the maximum penalty for his convictions. His appeals were unsuccessful, and he began serving his sentence in December of that year. Snipes spent over two years at the McKean Federal Correctional Institution in Pennsylvania before being released in April 2013. During his incarceration, Snipes remained in the news. He was involved in legal battles over his convictions and used his time in prison to further his study of philosophy and religion. Since his release, Snipes has returned to acting, though his career hasn't quite regained its former momentum. Snipes' story provides a cautionary tale about the consequences of financial missteps. It underscores the importance of compliance with tax laws, even for high-profile individuals who may believe they operate above such mundane matters. His experience also highlights the broader implications of these actions, affecting not just the individual, but also their professional standing and public reputation. Number 4. Charlie Sheen Carlos Erwin Estevez, better known by his stage name Charlie Sheen, was born on September 3, 1965. The son of actor Martin Sheen, he was destined for stardom from a young age. With numerous roles in acclaimed movies like Platoon and Wall Street and TV shows such as Two and a Half Men, Sheen's career was indeed noteworthy. However, his personal life was fraught with controversy. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Sheen faced allegations of domestic violence from multiple women. His turbulent relationships made headlines, as did his struggle with substance abuse. In December 2009, Sheen's personal problems escalated when he was arrested for assaulting his then-wife, Brooke Muller. In 2010, he pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor assault charge and was sentenced to 30 days in a rehabilitation center, 30 days of probation, and 36 hours of anger management. Sheen's off-screen antics and legal issues eventually led to his dismissal from Two and a Half Men in 2011. The subsequent years saw a public meltdown, with Sheen making bizarre public statements and revealing his HIV-positive status. Despite his tumultuous personal life, Sheen continues to be a figure of intrigue and remains in the public eye. His story serves as a stark reminder that fame and success can sometimes come hand-in-hand hand with personal struggle and public controversy. Number 5. Mark Wahlberg Mark Wahlberg, born on June 5, 1971, is a versatile talent in Hollywood, known for his work as an actor, producer, and former rapper. However, before he found fame in the entertainment industry, Wahlberg had a troubled youth, marked by violence and run-ins with the law. Growing up in Boston, Wahlberg faced various charges as a teenager, including drug dealing and attempted murder. The most significant of these incidents occurred when he was 16 years old. Wahlberg assaulted a Vietnamese man, leaving the man blind in one eye. He was charged with attempted murder, to which he pleaded guilty to assault, and was sentenced to two years in the Suffolk County Deer Island House of Correction. He ultimately served 45 days of his sentence. Despite his early brushes with the law, Wahlberg managed to turn his life around. He found success as a musician with Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, and then transitioned into acting. His performances in movies like Boogie Nights, The Departed, and The Fighter garnered critical acclaim and commercial success. In 2014, Wahlberg sought a pardon for his assault conviction, stating that he had turned his life around. However, he later dropped the request amid public criticism. Wahlberg's story is a tale of redemption, illustrating how one's past does not necessarily dictate their future. It is a stark reminder that even individuals who have committed serious offenses have the potential for change and can contribute positively to society. Number 6. Winona Ryder Winona Ryder, born Winona Laura Horowitz on October 29, 1971, is an acclaimed actress known for her roles in films such as Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, and Little Women. However, in 2001, Ryder found herself in the midst of a high-profile legal issue that temporarily derailed her career. In December 2001, Ryder was arrested for shoplifting over $5,500 worth of merchandise from Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills. The incident was a major scandal, with extensive media coverage casting a cloud over her career. The case went to trial the following year. 
In November 2002, Ryder was convicted of felony grand theft and vandalism, but acquitted of felony burglary. In December 2002, Ryder was sentenced to three years probation, 480 hours of community service, and was ordered to pay fines and restitution to the store. Ryder's sentencing did not involve jail time, but the entire incident tarnished her reputation and affected her career significantly. She withdrew from the spotlight for several years. Ryder slowly made her way back to acting, taking on smaller roles before making a full comeback with the Netflix hit series Stranger Things in 2016. Ryder's case is a stark example of how even successful Hollywood figures can find themselves on the wrong side of the law and the consequences they may face both legally and professionally. Number 7. Tim Allen Tim Allen, born Timothy Allen Dick on June 13, 1953, is an actor and comedian known for his roles in the television show Home Improvement and as the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story series. However, before his Hollywood success, Allen had a significant encounter with the law. In October 1978, Allen was arrested at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport for possession of over 650 grams of cocaine. He subsequently pleaded guilty to drug trafficking charges. Facing a potential life imprisonment, Allen provided the names of other drug dealers in exchange for a lighter sentence. In 1981, he was sentenced to three to seven years in federal prison, of which he served two years and four months at the Federal Correctional Institution in Sandstone, Minnesota. His experiences in prison inspired him to change his life's path. After his release, Allen turned to comedy, which ultimately led to a successful career in entertainment. He has openly spoken about his past mistakes and has used his experiences to caution others. His story showcases the potential for change and redemption, even after a serious legal transgression. Despite his early struggles, Allen's journey serves as an example of overcoming adversity and achieving success. Number 8. Christian Slater Christian Slater, born on August 18, 1969, is a notable actor who emerged in the entertainment scene during the 1980s. He gained recognition for his roles in Heathers, True Romance, and Broken Arrow among others. However, alongside his career successes, Slater has had a series of encounters with the law that have brought him unwanted attention. In 1997, Slater was arrested after a violent altercation at a party during which he assaulted his then-girlfriend and a police officer. The actor, who was under the influence of alcohol and drugs at the time, was subsequently charged with assault and battery. He was sentenced to three months in jail followed by three months in a residential drug treatment program. Again in 2005, Slater was arrested for sexually harassing a woman on the street in New York City. He was charged with third-degree sexual abuse and was later released on bail. These incidents, along with several other minor run-ins with the law, resulted in negative publicity and impacted Slater's career. Nonetheless, he has managed to bounce back each time, continuing to find roles in films and television series. Slater's story underscores the potential negative consequences of substance abuse and personal misconduct, particularly for public figures. It also highlights the potential for resilience and recovery, showing that personal struggles do not necessarily signal the end of a career or the inability to change one's path. Number 9. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf, born on June 11, 1986, began his career as a child actor in the Disney series Even Stevens. He later transitioned to film, with roles in Disturbia, Transformers, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. However, his successful career has been marred by a series of legal issues and controversies. In 2008, LaBeouf was involved in a car accident and was subsequently arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. Although charges were later dropped, this marked the beginning of a pattern of erratic behavior and encounters with law enforcement. In 2014, LaBeouf was arrested for disorderly conduct and trespassing after causing a disturbance at a Broadway theater. In 2017, he was arrested for public drunkenness, disorderly conduct, and obstruction in Georgia. In addition to these legal issues, LaBeouf has faced allegations of abusive behavior. In 2020, his former girlfriend, singer FKA Twigs, filed a lawsuit accusing him of physical and emotional abuse during their relationship. 
The lawsuit brought renewed attention to LeBeouf's previous erratic behavior and legal troubles. While LeBeouf's career has seen numerous highs, his personal issues have often overshadowed his professional successes. His story serves as a reminder of the personal challenges that can accompany fame and success, as well as the potential consequences of such struggles. Number 10. Mike Tyson Michael Gerard Tyson, born on June 30, 1966, is a former professional boxer who held the title of the youngest heavyweight champion in history at the age of 20. However, Tyson's formidable career in the ring was often overshadowed by his personal life, which was marked by legal troubles and controversies. In 1992, Tyson was convicted of rape and deviant sexual conduct for an incident involving Desiree Washington, a contestant in the Miss Black America pageant. Tyson was sentenced to six years in prison, of which he served three at the Plainfield Correctional Facility in Indiana. The conviction significantly affected Tyson's career and public image. Following his release from prison, Tyson attempted to rebuild his career, but he faced numerous challenges both inside and outside the ring. In 1997, he was disqualified from a match for biting off a portion of Evander Holyfield's ear, a move that resulted in a temporary suspension from boxing. Despite his troubled past, Tyson has sought to reinvent himself in recent years. He has starred in several films and television shows, launched a cannabis business, and returned to the ring for exhibition matches. His story is a potent example of the complex relationship between fame, success, and personal behavior, as well as the potential for transformation and redemption. Number 11. O.J. Simpson Orenthal James O.J. Simpson, born on July 9, 1947, is a former professional football player and actor. Simpson was a standout in the National Football League and later transitioned into a career in acting and sports broadcasting. However, in the mid-1990s, his life took a dramatic turn. In 1994, Simpson was arrested and charged with the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ronald Goldman. The trial, which was broadcast live on television, captivated the nation. Simpson was ultimately acquitted of the murder charges in 1995. However, in 2007, Simpson found himself in legal trouble again when he was involved in a robbery in Las Vegas. He was convicted on multiple charges, including kidnapping and armed robbery, and was sentenced to 33 years in prison. He served nine years before being granted parole in 2017. Simpson's story has left an indelible mark on American culture. His criminal trials brought to the fore conversations about race, celebrity, and the criminal justice system that continue to resonate. Despite the controversy that has surrounded him, Simpson remains a figure of interest to the public and media. Number 12. Phil Spector Born Harvey Philip Spector on December 26, 1939, Phil Spector was an influential record producer, songwriter, and music pioneer known for his Wall of Sound production formula. However, his brilliance in the recording studio was eventually overshadowed by his personal life. In 2003, Spector was arrested for the murder of actress Lana Clarkson at his home in Alhambra, California. Clarkson was found dead from a gunshot wound, and Spector was soon charged with second-degree murder. The case went to trial in 2007, but resulted in a mistrial due to a hung jury. A second trial began in 2008, and in 2009, Spector was found guilty of second-degree murder. He was sentenced to 19 years to life in prison. This verdict marked a dramatic fall from grace for one of music's most innovative figures. Throughout his trials and subsequent imprisonment, Spector maintained his innocence. However, the murder conviction irreversibly tarnished his legacy in the music industry. His story offers a stark reminder that even those at the pinnacle of success can face severe consequences for their actions. Number 13. Felicity Huffman Born on December 9, 1962, Felicity Huffman is an acclaimed actress known for her roles in the television series Desperate Housewives and the film Transamerica. Despite her successful acting career, Huffman's reputation took a hit in 2019 due to her involvement in a high-profile college admission scandal. Huffman was among several affluent parents charged with committing fraud to secure their children's admission to prestigious universities. The actress admitted to paying $15,000 to have a proctor correct answers on her daughter's SAT test. 
In May 2019, Huffman pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. In September of the same year, she was sentenced to 14 days in federal prison, a $30,000 fine, 250 hours of community service, and a year of supervised release. Huffman's involvement in the scandal sparked widespread public outrage and tarnished her reputation. Since completing her sentence, she has kept a low profile. Her story underscores the potential legal consequences of unethical actions, even for those in the upper echelons of society. Number 14. Lori Loughlin Born on July 28, 1964, Lori Loughlin is an actress best known for her role as Aunt Becky on the popular television sitcom Full House. Her wholesome on-screen image took a major hit in 2019 when she was implicated in a widespread college admissions scandal that rocked the United States. Laughlin and her husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannulli, were accused of paying $500,000 to a fake charity to facilitate their two daughters' admission to the University of Southern California as crew team recruits, despite neither of them participating in the sport. In May 2020, after more than a year of maintaining their innocence, Laughlin and Giannulli pleaded guilty to charges of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. Laughlin was sentenced to two months in prison, a $150,000 fine, and 150 hours of community service, while Giannulli received a five-month prison sentence, a $250,000 fine, and 250 hours of community service. Lachlan's involvement in the scandal served as a jarring contrast to her wholesome on-screen persona and led to significant personal and professional consequences. The incident also sparked widespread discussions about privilege, corruption, and fairness in the college admissions process. Number 15. Danny Trejo Danny Trejo, born on May 16, 1944, is a familiar face in Hollywood, known for his tough-guy roles in films like Desperado, Heat, and the Machete series. However, before he found fame as an actor, Trejo had a troubled past that included time in prison. Trejo grew up in Los Angeles and became involved in crime at a young age. He spent much of the 1960s in and out of jail, serving time in several California prisons, including San Quentin. Trejo has spoken openly about his past drug addiction and criminal activities, which included armed robbery and drug trafficking. While in prison, Trejo took up boxing and became a champion in the lightweight and welterweight divisions in the prison boxing circuit. His life began to turn around when he entered a 12-step program to address his drug addiction. Upon his release from prison, Trejo started working as a youth drug counselor. His acting career began almost by accident when he was offered a role as an extra in the film Runaway Train. From there, he went on to build a successful career in Hollywood. Trejo's story is one of transformation and redemption. He managed to turn his life around after a challenging start, demonstrating the possibility of change and personal growth regardless of one's past.